Hi, friends. Allow me to share a beautiful idea with you, which I hope will evoke joy and pride as it has with me. It concerns a narrative in the Sefer of Horatius in the Parsha of Ayera, where the Rabbi Shalom tells Avram Avinu affectionately that he is so touched by him that he enters with him into a covenant which is an inextricable bond forever and ever, making Avram Avinu the father of Klai Yisro, the light unto nations that will fulfill and be the guardians of God's creation and its purpose. Now, the question here is that Avram Avinu is uh, 2,000 years along with his wife after creation, which tells us that for 2,000 years the Rabbi Shalom could not find a person who carried the quality which Avram Avinu had. And we know that there were others that were righteous, that the Torah calls righteous, such as Noah. So what is it that Avram Avinu had that others did not? And the answer is found in the Pesukim in Vayera. Hashem says about Avraham Avinu, Ki yedatif, because I know, says Hashem. The Manashe Yitzhava is one of us, basically Akrav, that I know that they will carry on and teach their generations after them to the Shamru as their Hashem, Lase Sedakul Mishpat, that they will follow a path that is the one Hashem had hoped the world will live by, and the reason he created the world to begin with. Now, this means that there are many people who can appreciate the Rabbeinu Shalom and the things he set forth. So they are takers, if you care. They're happy to celebrate holidays. They're happy to partake and take pride, etc., etc. But they aren't willing to sweat it and make sure that the children that they have and the generations around them and those that follow them will carry on as well. That takes sweat, as you know, and it takes hard work, determination, and conviction. And this is what Hashem sees in Avraham. Avraham is not just about himself. He is interested and excited and dedicated to make a difference to those around him as well. Now, when you kind of turn this around on us, it means that each and every one of us has an obligation to not just be proud Jews and not to just participate or to take advantage of the beautiful things that Yiddishkeit offers us and how it brightens our life. But we must also be part of Jewish continuity in raising children that follow and are excited about God's ways, etc., etc. And that means that our Zadis who excited us need to know that we someday will be the Zadi to our family. That idea is so beautiful, and it is placed in a song called My Sadi. I want you to listen to it. It'll move your heart. And if it excites you just hearing it online, how much more so would it be to hear it live on stage by a wonderful, wonderful performer who father, whose father wrote this song? Please go to linkup.org where you find information about the concert, the Yad Zlata concert I'm referring to, this Sunday at the JCC at 7 p.m. You'll find a link over there to listen to Tali Yes. Listen to the song, My Zadie. You will be moved as I am. And you will also help me pay tribute to Mrs. Lata Gaisinski, who made an enormous impact on this world and was a friend to so many of you. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you at the concert. Be there.